Today I thought it would be fun to make nitrous oxide, because it's actually pretty easy to do. The only ingredient you need is ammonium nitrate, which I actually made recently, but I haven't finished putting the video together on it yet, so keep an eye out for that. In any case, to make nitrous oxide, the first thing I do is add about 2.5 grams of my ammonium nitrate to a large test tube. The test tube is then plugged with a rubber stopper that I fed a line through and into a graduated cylinder that's filled with water and suspended above a tray of water. I then gently heat the test tube with a Bunsen burner which will decompose the ammonium nitrate into nitrous oxide and water. It's important here that the heat is kept as low as possible because excessive heating will cause the ammonium nitrate to decompose into nitrogen gas and oxygen gas, which isn't what we want. This tends to only happen above 300 degrees Celsius though, which is very hot, so it's a pretty easy thing to keep under control. This specific type of reaction is called a thermal decomposition reaction, which I haven't covered on this channel, but the idea is you have a more complicated molecule like ammonium nitrate being broken down into simpler byproducts. Since the target product here, nitrous oxide, is a gas, it's pushed through the tube and displaces water in the graduated cylinder. This technique allows me to easily capture my nitrous oxide gas, and by the end, my graduated cylinder is going to be completely full of it. As for the applications of this chemical, I don't have any personal use for it, but it's used very broadly as a surgical anesthetic, especially in dentistry offices. It's also used widely in whipped cream canisters as it can be used to froth dairy without interacting with the dairy in any way and causing it to coagulate. In any case, that's the entire process, but I went ahead and set this back up with a 500 milliliter boiling flask because I wanted to see how much gas this small amount of ammonium nitrate would make. As a side note, one mole of any gas will occupy 22.4 liters of volume. And so if I use 2.5 grams of ammonium nitrate, I should get around 0.7 liters of gas total. This is a complex and interesting topic in of itself, and if you'd like a full video on gas laws or gas chemistry, leave a comment and I'll try to get around to it. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I hope you found this interesting, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider following me on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube.